the Joe Rogan experience. So you are how many months out since your injury? Almost five. Yeah, we, my wife was just here, and we were talking about how we went to see your game. We set it up. We're going to go see Aaron play. He's going to be playing the Cowboys in Dallas. Let's go. We got all pumped up. and uh, Four plays later. Yeah. Yeah. How is it now? It feels good. It feels good. I can do everything except uh, sprint at a top speed. So um, the cool thing is I, the, I really attacked the rehab the first few months and kind of wanted to go as hard as I could for two months to see where I was at. And also see where the team was at because my goal was to come back. Um, Nobody has come back uh, really quick from that injury. Uh, Most of the time when it happens, especially during season, there's no need uh, to push a rehab. Because it happened the first week of the season, I said, you know, let's push this as hard as I can and see if I can come back in December at some point. So I kind of in my mind had circled Christmas Eve, which would have been 14 weeks uh, post-surgery. And, yeah, I worked really, really hard. I had a great surgeon. Uh, who did uh, you know a newer process where they kind of uh, attach uh, anchor the uh, uh, the sutures through the tendon back into your heel, so it allows you to get on your feet quicker. Um, I did a lot of you know uh, other things to uh, speed up the rehab. I did hyperbaric chamber, uh, work with uh, Br- Brigham at Ways to Well, who I, you know I know you're very good friends with, and saw him on the podcast here, and he's amazing. Um, you know, did some stem cells, did. Uh, uh, you know, full-time rehab uh, up to eight hours a day with, uh, you know, an incredible spot in L.A. and also at home doing extra stuff. Uh, my diet was rock solid, um, a lot of bone broth uh, to increase the collagen levels, uh, to increase healing. And so I felt, you know, I felt really, really good. I made it back on the practice field um, at 11 weeks. Uh, the way the NFL works with the IR, you can – uh, have a three-week window before they got to make a decision. So they designate you to return. You have three weeks before you get activated. So I was hoping we'd win those three games. I could come back. Now, I couldn't sprint and still can't at top speed, but I felt like there's been times in my career where I played in a small circle and could have been able to be effective. Uh, that didn't happen, uh, and so they uh, didn't they activated me to the roster. I just got to practice, um, but I didn't get to play. But uh, I feel good, you know. Um, it, it was I had a lot of things working against me, my age being the biggest one. But uh, I learned a lot about a lot more about health, uh, which I'm sure people will love to hear about. Yeah, um, I mean, if you follow like a ways to well protocol, you can pretty radically speed up recovery for injuries. You know, um, and w- what's interesting is that there's stuff that you can do that you didn't do because it's not allowed, which is you know. Very admirable on your part, but I would I would have fucking done it. I would, I would have done everything. <laughs> like let's go. <laughs> I would have gone the full Conor McGregor route. But um, when you do, how do they determine whether or not you are fully here? Do they do an MRI and check the tissue? And yeah, we were doing the ultrasounds actually for a while just to see what type of blood flow we were getting to the area. Um, we didn't actually do a, another MRI. If I had been uh, activated with the intent to play. I think just for safety for everybody, we probably would have done another MRI just to see the integrity, structural integrity of the tendon. Um, but really, it was about how I felt, you know, and I was able to to do all the quarterback stuff, um, move in the pocket, um, throw, uh, step into my foot. I could actually, you know, jog to slightly faster than a jog to move and throw. Um, all things I kind of showed in practice the last few weeks. Of the what season. happens over that if you speed it up a little? Do you just feel pain? Do you feel like- I, so I don't have the explosion. I don't have the ability to kind of um, get up on my toe. The the biggest uh, hurdle was just single leg calf strength, like being able mm. to from a standing position shift my weight onto the single leg and do a heel raise. Mm. Um, that to, that's how you know you're ready to run because you run on your athletes play on their toes, you know. So. I need to be able to to do that. Now I could get around that by subtle movements in the pocket, but there was multiple times throughout my career where I had lower leg injuries in 14 and 18, especially where I was able to play in a small circle in 14. I ripped my calf up pretty bad and was able to kind of play in the shotgun and the pistol um, for a stretch of time and be effective in 18. I banged my knee up on the uh, second drive of the game, uh, you know, tore my MCL, had a, um, uh, you know, a, a fracture on the lateral side and was able to play uh, for a while uh, in mostly in the shotgun until that healed up. But 
so I knew I could do it. I wanted to show I could play under center, which I did uh, in practice, but um, you know we just were out of it, so so I didn't come back. Well, it seems like it's the smartest move at your age to make sure it's a hundred percent. Like like I've seen a lot of athletes come back, particularly from ACL injuries with fighters, they come back too soon, and it pops again. Yeah, I, I I totally agree with that on on many levels. But then there's the competitor part, where I see that. Uh, that window closing Mm -hmm. and um there's not many guys who've been who've played as long as i have there's a few obviously tom did it for a long time but you know there's kind of an age where father time is is winning and i know that you know i'm i'm on the last couple holes of my career so i I didn't want to miss an entire season are you 36 now i'm 40 40 thank you though (laughs) you look 36